Okay, welcome to it. It's uh, your boy DMAC live at Avid Caddy. Find me at Avid Caddy at 9556 Park Meadows Drive. And it's a gorgeous day, but whether it's a gorgeous day or there's a thousand inches of snow, you can get your golf on at Avid Caddy, avidcaddy.com. That's with an I and an E, avidcaddy.com. And we'll tell you more details about Avid Caddy and just uh, a little bit, but we're, we're doing the hangout live and our friends at Avid Caddy are having a big event. Um, and we're going to have a watch along of the final game of the NCAA championship. That's coming up, um, you know, in a couple of weeks. But we're doing a live watch along right now with CU and Florida. And there's seven minutes to go. And we got good news for Buffs fans. They're up by eight. This is a good game. So for all the crap that I've been giving the NCAA tournament, boring, low scoring, not in this one. This game has been a barn burner. So if there are more college basketball games like CU in Florida, I mean, count me in. And right now the Buffs are being aggressive. The Buffs are being uh, taking the play to Florida, and they're leading by eight points. So love it. I love all of it. So we'll definitely get to your questions, comments, and talk about everything else going on. But we'll keep a significant eye on the Buffs this afternoon. So this is what we're going to do. So Avid Caddy Golf Lounge. They do take memberships, but they're opening things up for the public for a tournament, a tournament-style event. And then the penultimate, the championship moment will happen the same night as the NCAA championship. But you don't have to be an expert. And listen, if you are an expert golfer, it's a great place to go to, to work on whatever you got. On the bays behind me, they have over 200 golf courses loaded in. So you can play a plethora of different courses. But even if you're just a beginner or you just want to work on things or just dig into it, this is so cool. It's a comfortable, relaxed place. You bring whatever you want with food or drink into it. And they are accepting a limited amount of memberships. But right now, things are wide open. So if you want to sample it, see what it's all about, and just hit some golf balls, I'm here. Um, you, you can come here and play for free today until 6 o'clock. And if you just give them a holler, uh, they'll make arrangements for you. So you don't have to be here while I'm here. But if you want to, I'd love for you to come on down. We can watch the buffs together, although there's only six minutes to go. So I guess you'd have to be around the corner. But um, but here we go. And, of course, we thank our friends at Ed Crather Real Estate, the most trusted team in real estate in Colorado, edcrather.com. So you got a choice. Support my guy, Ed, no doubt about it. And the stuff that we're going through buying and selling a home, man, it's a tricky process. I'm so glad uh, Ed and his team, are. we're all a team together. And it's a fun place to hang out, Avid Caddy. And I'll tell you this, launching Kill You With Truth and launching a podcast and a digital platform is only possible because I work for such a great company like KSC in the first place. So it all works so unbelievably well together. Um, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, I'm happy, and I'm happy to, to have you along with us today. I'll be going from here down to Ball Arena for the Avs against the Blue Jackets. We finally have hockey back. We had an incredible Nuggets game yesterday. Um, uh, there's all sorts of controversies going on with Shohei Otani. And I see a question right off the bat about George Payton. So the Buffs are up by 12 with 523 to go. So we'll, we'll just keep you going on that a little bit. So here's my guy, Wesley. So good to see you, Wesley. Wesley, you're such a loyal fan of what we're doing here. I so deeply appreciate it. Uh, what do you make of George Payton being in Ann Arbor for J.J. McCarthy but no Sean Payton? Um, I think J.J. McCarthy is a stretch right now. Uh, I know there's rumors and speculations that the Broncos could move up. It doesn't really bother me. I don't think too much of it. I think George Payton, I mean, he's at Michigan. There's a lot of guys to see at Michigan. Uh, so I, I don't, I, I think it's going to be Knicks or Penix. But again, again, this is true. The Broncos do believe in the paranoia of giving their hand away. So I, I wouldn't look at really much of anything. And, and don't forget, J.J. McCarthy and these guys, Knicks, Penix, 
they've met with the Broncos already. And you still have an official visit where they come to town. So the head coach not being at a pro day, I I don't think that much about it. Not really. I don't I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think you know what you need to know about most of these guys. You know, it didn't really bother me necessarily that Elway wasn't at Josh Allen's pro day. Gary Kubiak was there, but not John. Although John was the GM at the time. I don't know. It, it wouldn't have bothered me because they would have seen Josh Allen so many times. Uh, I don't think that would have even made a difference, frankly. You got the Senior Bowl. You got the Combine. You got the Pro Day, which everybody can just sort of see what's going on there. It's, you know, you, you get it. You have another chance to see each other, but it doesn't matter. Either you're going to draft the guy or not. Quick update, see you up by 13 with 436 in Florida going to the line. So it doesn't really bother me that much at all. Um, the MLB is officially investigating Otani. This could get really ugly really quick. Well, Christopher, you're probably right about that. Um, yeah, let me see the latest story there. So the MLB, first, first story on ESPN.com. Major League Baseball has opened a formal investigation into Shohei Otani and his interpreter. They're expected to request interviews with all parties. Uh, they, they don't, uh, Mizura, Mizuhara, Mizuhara doesn't work for baseball anymore, so there's only so much they can do. MLB's not, you know, the police, and he's been fired. So, Otani has a right to refuse cooperation as part of the MLBPA. So, there's only so much Major League Baseball can actually do here. And this one is kind of a funny one because do you think Major League Baseball really wants to, you know, get Shohei Otani in trouble? Not at all. So, we'll see how serious they take it. But it, it looks shady as heck. I mean, it looks I, – I doubt Otani's been a victim of massive theft. That's what the uh, thing is. So, there you go. Oh, my God, Michael, TGIF, T-Mac, have a great weekend. Go Trailblazers. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, the Nuggets are in uh, Portland. They're playing left around 130 today. And not sure who's on that plane, who's not on that plane. Great game last night, man. So exciting. Knicks are a tough team. Like, the Knicks are kind of the real deal. So I, I thought that win by the Nuggets last night was phenomenal. Um, they're going to a timeout. Colorado's up by 10, 94-84. 94-84. What is happening here? This is like a real basketball game. It's like fast break and scoring and there's action. Like, this is actually something fun to watch. Holy cow, a real basketball game. So that's remarkable. Uh, let's see here. Broncos going out for a private workout with Spencer Rattler. I would not be surprised if they took him in a later round. I agree with you, Lewis, 100%. I think Spencer Rattler, but I'm all for that. I'm all for taking a quarterback at um, 12 or moving up for one. And then taking somebody later on. Hold on a second. So, just want to do a couple things here as we get going. Okay. Sorry about that. Just looking something up real quick. Let's see the latest and greatest news. All right, so Broncos news. Uh, Luke McCaffrey um, is coming in for a visit. I love Luke if it's available like in the fifth round. Third and fourth round picks, not so much. Uh, Broncos had a local visit with Wyoming tight end Creighton Welch, Colorado outside linebacker Jordan Domenic. 
And Luke McCaffrey coming as well. I'm a fan of all that. Uh, Spencer Adler. Yeah, so to get back to that. I believe in a quarterback room, okay? So in a quarterback room, everybody has a different role. Not everybody on every team is the, you're going to be our starter forever, okay? When you're developing a quarterback room, it's important that everybody knows their role and can, can fill it in, in order to support the ultimate goal of the team winning. Okay, so what does that actually look like? I'll get to that in a second. Um, if you look at a high-quality quarterback room, look at like Miami Dolphins, okay? And essentially, you've got your established guy, Tua Tungavailoa. You've got younger guys in support that know they're in support. They know what their role is. The ultimate example, of course, is you do what you do for Trey Lance and you still draft Brock Purdy. Why not? I mean, the Broncos have three fifth-round picks. But you've got to pick somebody who supports the room the right way. The Broncos had Peyton Manning, Trevor Simeon, and Brock Osweiler all in the same room with Adam Gay sort of being the mentor guy. That's a great room. And Manning was likely closer to, you know, Trevor Simeon than he was to, um, to, to Brock Osweiler. But, okay, you know, whatever. So what does your room look like? What's the perfect room? That's kind of a bottom line business. All right, we're back from timeout. So I think Spencer Rattler would be great. I think he would fit in well. But that can't just be the plan, period. I would be so surprised if that was the final plan. I mean, that just... With everything going on, with all the opportunity you have, and then you got to look at when we did this today, the 2025 free agent quarterbacks. It's like it's 40 million dollar prospects aside from Jordan Love, but like you know, Dak Cross, uh, Dak uh, Prescott, um, Jared Goff. I know you might laugh at that, but even Jared Goff would be a 40 million dollar guy. I wouldn't like if I was the Cowboys. I I seriously would just move on. It just hasn't worked for whatever reason, and the expense is staggering because of all the other things you can't do. Now I see this through the ball away. Okay. Oh, they got Kevin Harlan on this game too. Kevin's the best. All right, Buffs, hang in there. By eight, three thirty to go. Hang in there, Buffs. Uh, what is your impression of the Avs new players after the deadline? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, how do you not how do you not love what the Avs have done? I mean, the Avs have been unbelievable. Um, you have a, a a a deeper, more established fourth line. You have the flexibility to move for easy wherever you want. You have Sean Walker looks like a stud, and I. I think he may be a rental guy, but you never know. Um, and then Casey Milstadt, you know, Casey Milstadt is a lot bigger than you'd think. He's a bigger dude. So he's got size and skill and looks tremendous as the two seat so far. Never mind the fact with Nachushkin coming back, that's like another guy. So when Nachushkin coming back, you have the flexibility of moving Lekkonen either to the top line or the second line. We've been drawing around. What's well, not to like? So uh, the new, and it clicked like that. And for them to pick up eight points in four games on the road was, I mean, it was unbelievable. So I'm, I'm looking forward to their home stand. They're home all week. Um, and the Nuggets are home all week, except for this game on Saturday. So starting last night, you have action at Ball Arena 11 out of 12 nights, starting last night. So, wow, including tonight against Columbus. And I, I, you know, I don't know much about Columbus. So. Jack Johnson used to play there. 
think he's a Columbus Blue Jacket legend. Florida's at the line. Uh, down eight, so they can cut to six, 219 to go. We'll keep you updated on it. Uh, yes to Luke Mack. I agree. I think Luke McCaffrey would be an excellent addition. I think he would be the perfect type of um, graphic for the Broncos. I think he would be amazing. I think he would fit a significant role. So I'd be a huge fan of Luke McCaffrey for sure. may be wondering where I am. I am at Avid Caddy Golf Lounge, 9556 Park Meadows Drive, tucked away in the UC Health Medical Center area if you're looking for a location. And it's a private golf club, but they're accepting memberships, limited amount. Um, but it's open to the public for a tournament that they're having leading up to our watch along um, the night that the national championship game is going down. So I'll be here with uh, Nate Jackson. We'll see what other friends we can pile in, but we would love to have you join us. So if you're just looking for a more unique, different, fun place to watch the national championship game while you can hit some golf balls, have some drinks, play pool, ping pong, chill out, big screen TVs, loungy couches. I mean, it's, it's crazy that it's like a like an indoor golf club. It's so, so cool. And if you go to avidcaddy.com, you can get all the details. Plus, they offer lessons and instruction. And whether you're some sort of high-end golfer or you're just kind of a beginner trying to have some fun. And uh, my lovely wife is here, and she's going to hit some golf balls, I think, in a little bit. Um, you know, whatever you want to do. So, for example, my um, wife, belong, I think Top Golf is uh shutting down for a little bit for some renovation and we do love top golf nothing nothing against top golf but my wife has been in a uh, a women's league there and just they they're ready to play some golf and that's not going to go so if you're looking for a place to scratch that itch avidcaddy.com simply go to avidcaddy.com and while i'm here and i'll be here a couple of days next week and off and on the only days that i won't be here leading up to the national championship game uh, for Hangout Live will be home Nuggets game. That's it. Other than that, we're here and happy to be here at Abbey County. So 9556 Park Minnows Drive. Would love to see you. So if it's a non-Bronx, a non-Nuggets, uh, unless the Nuggets are playing at home in the afternoon, I'll be over here at Abbey County for the next three weeks. It may be longer. We'll see how it goes. Uh, all right. Let's go with an update for the City of Buffaloes. There's a minute and a half to go. Boy, a bucket here would mean a lot. They're up by six, and they take a foul. So, you know, college basketball is going to come down to free throws here. But what a game. I mean, dude, are you kidding me? I mean, this is fantastic. You're, you're actually getting scoring. You're getting fun play. Um... Uh, I mean, outstanding. Absolutely love it. Uh, and by the way, with 58 seconds to go, Auburn is losing to Yale. Losing to Yale in terms of employment and basketball. We'll, we'll see where that goes. A minute to go, Yale's up by one. Crazy. Now, let me give you some of the, the, the numbers here. Lampkin with 21. Uh, De Silva... 17, Hadley with 16, 19 from Simpson, O'Brien with 12, Cody Williams um, only eight points. Now, something's going on there. All right, um, but a really well balanced effort by the Buffaloes here. Five point game, minute 16 to go. Holy cow, it's coming right down the wire. <laughs> wow. Man, and, you know, when you're watching college basketball, too, it just sort of, it, it does drag. But, listen, I'm not going to hate on a, um, a, a game where both teams are close to 100 points in a college basketball game. Not at all. I mean, that's awesome. 
We're getting into the, oh, hey, the bus, uh, all right. Well, looks like Florida's going to let it play out a little bit. Okay. You know, plenty of time on the clock. It's freaking milk. This is why they have to move the play clock from 30 to 24. So on a 24 play clock, boom, that's it. You've had to shoot by now. But, you know, dribbling it down to the last second. Okay, so see you up by six. Okay, it's interesting. Oh man, you shot by Florida. <laughs> Bananas game, three point game, 37.2 seconds. This is a great game. This is a great game. This is a great game, period. This is what I'm talking about. It's two really good schools um, with great players, back and forth, high-scoring game. You got me. You got me, college basketball. You got me. You got me. Avid caddy. I bet DMAC can't drive the ball further than 100 yards. We want to see it. That's mean. You don't, you don't think I can hit a ball 100 yards? 100 yards? Yeah, all right. Well, line one up. I mean... No, watch. You can see this. This is 100 yards right here. This is 100 yards? 104 and a half. He does? Yeah, put one in the tape. I don't even have to warm up to hit 100 yards. You guys watch it? Everybody watch this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You had to take it off the tape. That was a beautiful swing. Oh, how far did I hit it? Heads up on the fairway. Let's get to the fairway. Wait, wait a second. How far did I hit it? That was over 100 yards. Yeah, yeah, 100 yards. There you go. Hundred and fifty. There you go. There you go. Now, these guys look like I suck. All right, well, thank you, Avid Caddy, for chiming in. <laughs> Can't hit a ball 100 yards. I fucked it up one time. That was pretty funny. All right. Um, well, that's, that's what you can do here, man. How fun is that, right? That's pretty fun. So, oh, my God. See you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Um, so, so you turn the ball over. Florida's down by three. Uh, and now Florida's going the line down by three with plenty of time left. Meanwhile, 30 seconds to go with Yale and Auburn, with Yale up by three. Okay, Florida's down by two. 22.6 seconds left. Holy shit. This would be a terrible loss for CU. Oh, he missed. Well, they're going to have to foul here, obviously. Well, CU gets it up. Wow. Oh. 14-7. Okay, so, I mean, basically you come down to making free throws. Wild, huh? Wild, wild, wild. Wild stuff. So, we have all sorts of crazy things going on here. Let's see what happens with the Yale-Auburn game. That's bananas. Oh, man. Free throws. Gotta make your free throws, bro. Gotta make your free throws. Gotta make your free throws. Oh, man. Buff Nation is freaking out right now. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see. Okay. Great game. 
great game. For as critical as I've been about CU, this is fantastic. This is outstanding. Okay, three-point game. Florida's, if you take it quick, probably, yeah. Holy cow. Wait till you see the highlights of this. It's tied. So you guys a chance to win it at the buzzer. It goes to overtime. They call timeout. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Florida fought all the way back. 100 to 100. Wow. That was, uh, and I mean, beyond the NBA arc. Basically a logo three. It was a logo three. What a clutch shot. Holy shit. Wow, by the kid by Florida. Wow. That is crazy clutch shooting right there. Wow. That's crazy. Absolute bananas right there. All right, there's six seconds left in the game's tied. CU does have the ball. So CU has a chance to um, win. Wow, that was crazy. I'm a little bummed here. I'm rooting for CU. All right, I'm watching on the old internets here, so you may be a little bit ahead of me. So I'm just going to stay out of the comments for a second because I don't want to spoil this for myself. So if you're trying to jump the gun in the comments just for a second, I'm not looking at you. But we're live here at Avid Caddy, avidcaddy.com, ie.com. They have a limited amount of memberships, but they have so much cool stuff going on here. So check it out, avidcaddy.com. Let's see if CU can win it, man. They got a shot to win it. Yeah, drive to the hoop. Got it. 1.7. What a shot. What a shot. CU wins. Wow. 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 Congratulations to the Buffaloes. That was a amazing shot going baseline CU wins not quite a walk off Florida goes down after a f it is so hard to battle back and Florida battle back hit a three who was that Simpson he's been incredible the rims in and out and goes in baseline runner what a shot wow Buffalo's advanced to the round of 32. Wow. Are you kidding me? That is awesome. Now, that's incredible. Simpson, KJ Simpson. My goodness. Congratulations, Buffs. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Wow. Damn. That was okay. You got me. You got me, college basketball. That was incredible. So Sunday, uh, Marquette beat Western Kentucky. They're a two seed. Colorado, Marquette, and Indy on Sunday. Awesome job. That was really, really cool. Congratulations. Way to go, CU. That's amazing. I'm going to look for some other scores here. Uh, let's see. Can I get to this game? Yale, Auburn. I mean, that's super close, and they're coming down to the wire, too. Uh, let's see what we got here with Yale and Auburn. Congratulations to the Buffaloes. They um, live to play another day. They play on Sunday against Marquette. <laughs> Yale has got 70. This is a great game. 77-74, 13-7 left. Yale. Yale. This would be a 13 over a four. To think of Yale beating an SEC school is bonkers to me. <laughs> I mean, that is incredible. Now, my guess is, and I don't know this off the top of my head, but my guess is the players on Yale are probably a little bit older than the guys on Auburn. 
And maybe that matters. Perhaps it does. This guy looks like he uh, runs a hedge fund at the line. Maybe he does run the hedge fund or will about to. Up by four, Yale. Can Yale beat Auburn? Oh, this is a free throw. Auburn's going to have to do something pretty heroic. Drive, smart. Okay. Oh, and he, it's an and one. Oh, my God. That's a terrible foul. Oh, wow. Hey, Yale guy, that's a bad idea. How do you find guys who are six foot ten that go to Yale? How do you do that? Oh, that is a terrible foul call. He went straight up. How is that a foul? Oh, that's a terrible call. I'll let him play a little bit. That's ridiculous. I think that's a terrible call. I think that was terrible. Thanks to Ed Prey, the real estate, the most trusted team in real estate. Sell your home guaranteed. Ed's the absolute best. So edprather.com, the most trusted real estate team in Colorado. And we'll see what Auburn can do. They missed the free throw. Yeah, I hit free throws. Scramble. It's jump ball. Whose ball is it? Oh, it's Auburn's ball. Wow. Auburn's ball, so they got a chance to tie or take the lead or win it. They got an injury, too. Somebody's hurt. What a game. All right. All right. I know I've been raining on people's parade here at the NCAA tournament, but, you know, games like this are awesome. CU beating Florida with a last shot is legendary. It's going to come down to a final shot here. They have plenty of time, 7.1 seconds to go. And they're inbounding underneath their own basket. So plenty of opportunity here. Oh, under the basket. That's a clean block and fouled. Oh, my gosh. Boy, that looked like a good block, too. That looked like a good block. Oh, wow. So Auburn will step up with the ability to tie it. I don't know, man. That looked pretty good to me. Um, Yeah, you got him with the body. You got him with the body. Free throws. Missed it. Wow. <laughs> got to make free throws, bro. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, my God. A lot of pressure, though, man. A lot of pressure. Monk, this them both. Get the rebound block. Shot to win it. Yale beats Auburn. Yale beats Auburn. <laughs> that was chaos at the rim. Two missed free throws. Two offensive rebounds, three different chances, a block, not calling the foul. Yale just beat Auburn. Second NCAA tournament win in school history. That's crazy. That's more than Nebraska. 13 beats a four. Yale beats Auburn. Oh, and there's a kid from Auburn on the floor. He's, I think he's, he's hurt or crying or maybe... Oh, I think he's both. I think he messed his knee up. Um, what a game. Oh, all right. You're winning. You're winning me over. You're winning me over, NCAA. You are. That was a great game. See you winning uh, 102 to 100 over Florida. It was a great game. Uh, Nebraska's trying to win their first tournament game ever. And what else we got? We got a lot of other blowouts today. Some not great games. UConn, Clemson over to Mexico. Marquette, who see you, will face on Sunday. Listen, man, you got to understand something. As a Syracuse guy, you know, watching your team, and we, I watched at the old Lake Street Tavern, the old one. And the new one, relatively new, that's closed down. But 
We watched it at the old one, and it was, it was one of the most exciting sporting events I've ever seen in my life. And I've been lucky. I've seen Syracuse play in Final Fours, won a championship. Um, and it's just unbelievable. It's super exciting. Wow. Okay, man, that was a lot. Congratulations to the Buffs, though. That is that is that is amazing for the Buffs. I'm super pumped for them. That's great. Yeah, I mean, you know, CSU scoring 11 points in the first half. Uh, wow. Good stuff. Good stuff. What is Tad Boyle doing? Uh, Daniel, he is winning a game. That's what he's did Tad Boyle start the Mike Malone struggle bus? Do you mean winning a championship? Uh, four to three, he stepped out. Daniel, I think you were freaking out, Daniel. They won the game. What is D-Mac's ideal quarterback room? QB one, two, and three. Um, for now, uh, my ideal quarterback room, as it stands for the Broncos, would be Bo Nix, Jarrett Stidham, Ben DiNucci, Spencer Rattler. Actually, you know, I'd rather have Milton. I would rather have uh, Joe Milton, but I don't know. You got to be around in the fifth round. So, but I'd take that. I'd take Nix, Stidham, Rattler, DiNucci. Fine by me. Let's go. Buffs, Lewis. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. KJ Simpson was awesome. Uh, the game itself was awesome. Incredible comeback by Florida. Crazy three-pointer to tie it up. Uh, college, no, it's exciting. I'm, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. It's, the, this was crazy. And the Yale game was great. And a 24-year-old dude from Oakland beating a bunch of 18-year-olds from Kentucky was awesome, too. Uh, DMAC, if you know anyone who knows Tad Boyle, please tell them to not take their foot off the gas early ever again. Yeah, but I mean, like, Florida made shots too. I mean, Florida did well. You know, you got to give them credit for what they did. Uh, there you are, Daniel. Buffs win, buffs win, buffs win. Should have never been that close. Hey, Chris, I get it. But, I mean, like I said, they made shots. They made shots. Buffs miss free throws. They're younger players. I mean, it happens. It was exciting. I'll take it. I thought it was great. Uh, yeah, DMAC. Keep DMACing. What choice do I have, Adam? No choice. Always be DMACing. That's for sure. Josh, you're excited. I don't blame you. Uh, wow. Let's fucking go. What's up, DMAC? What's up, Josh? Yeah, that was crazy. Down goes Auburn. How pissed is Jay? Bill by Billis. Was he was was he on Auburn's jock? I don't even know. Was he all pumping up Auburn? I mean, I don't think anybody picked Yale. I mean, nobody's picking Yale to beat Auburn. Who in the who in the world would pick Yale over Auburn? Uh, what a win, man. I was in between work and home, pulled up into my garage, ran into the house, and Missed the shot by three seconds. <laughs> uh, Josh, that's funny. But super stoked watching the post game. Yeah, that was great. That was a blast. And super fun to watch it here at Avid Caddy, um, where you can find out about golf lessons and leagues and memberships. And, I mean, just super cool with their simulators that you can play real courses, over 200 courses, a driving range just to get your game together. I mean, it's good you know, year round. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, and a great crew down here that, that runs this joint. So check it out at avidcaddy.com. And uh, that would be awesome. And yes, I was dared to hit a ball off the deck more than a hundred yards. And on my second attempt, I got it. Uh, what a clutch final shot. I'm screaming right now. Ah, I bet. I bet you are rightfully. So, I mean, that was incredible. Ah, I don't blame you for being excited. I mean, that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, man. All right, fine. You got me. You're going to score 100 points. You're going to take threes. You're going to make shots. You're going to be physical. You're going to have fast breaks. You got me. Go college basketball. Let's see more of that. Who's on the trade block for the Broncos? I'd say nobody at this point. Um, 
Well, you know, I shouldn't say nobody. The guys that you could trade, the only, I mean, you got to think about guys with value. Who would other teams want at this point? So the only players on the Broncos that other teams would want, besides just throwaway properties, would be Garrett Bowles, Cortland Sutton. Um, they just restructured Powers and McGlinchey. They're going to pay um, Miners the bag next year. If Sertan, forget it. I mean, listen, if they if they really wanted to move up, you would trade Pat Sertan, but they don't want to do that. They did this 53-32 split with Russ, and Russ did take a bath on that house. He lost $3.5 million, so hope he's doing okay. But, um, yeah, they're not, they're not going to do – I don't think you're going to trade anybody. I don't think they're going to move up. If they do, I'll be pumped. I just don't think they will. And I'm hoping they chose uh, choose Bo Nix. Simple as that. I'm with you. I normally don't give a crap until now. LFG. Yeah, I mean, that was incredible. That was incredible. That was an incredible game. That was an amazing comeback by Florida. That was a clutch shot by KJ Simpson Jr., that was just awesome. Everything about it was awesome. Everything. Congratulations to the buffs uh, about the tournament. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, tourney is tough. Hello, DMAC. Hello, Paul. I'm glad you're here. Uh, poor CSU. Was the ball too big for the hoop or what? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, you had an 11-point half. I mean, that's brutal. I mean, that is tough. It's a tough way to end your season, man. It sucks. Congrats to see you. Absolutely, Paul. You got it. Congrats to see you. Way to go. I have a caddy website says they're currently closed. <laughs> what? Does it look like they're closed? It's wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Um, how far? I mean, hey. Finkelstein, come on down. 95, see, look at that down here. Oh, hold on. 95, 56, Park Meadows Drive. Come on down. Come on down, buddy. Uh, 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 let's see here. Uh, give him a holler. Call 303-376-3745. Two, two, two. How far do the buffs go? Proving they can play defense against Boise and score with the best. I don't. I don't know. Listen, they just put up over a hundred points in a college basketball game. You put up a hundred points. I think you can go pretty far. Great question. You know, I don't know. It's college basketball. Like you can beat Marquette. Why not? Why couldn't you beat Marquette? What what college basketball team out there? is like so much better than all the other college basketball teams. Seriously. You could go far. You could get eliminated. I mean, essentially, that's the excitement of college hoops for sure. Boom, 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 boom. Great question. Hello. Well, only close to him. It, no, no, we're open. Open for business. Happy to have you down here. Uh, any update on the house sale purchase? Also, can we assume the new place won't have a pesky lawn to pay someone to take care of? <laughs> Adam, I love you, bro. That's awesome. Um, we are, you know, it's complicated sometimes buying and selling homes and getting everybody to agree to everything. And, uh, you know, we're in that process. So, um, we're in the process both ways, selling and buying, and hopefully both things will come together here really soon. Or we'll all fall apart, and we'll have to start all over again. I, I really don't know. I don't know. Uh, buffs better than Kentucky. Too funny. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was kind of a, a thing from Jay Wright, the ex-Villanova coach, and what he said was that day and age – of the one and doneers is is done and the logic i mean this used to be the case but now because of nil 
you can just pay kids, students to stay uh, at school. And so you pay them to stay at school. And, you know, you know, you're going to get that kid from Oakland who's 24 years of age. And he's going to, you know, do his thing and hit 10, go 10 of 20 from three. And he's going to do it. And so he knows that's the best he's going to do. And he's, he's not going to be a star in the NBA, but he can be a star there and still get paid. So, I mean, it probably is the best thing for college basketball. And really what you need to do is just get rid of one and done. So let the really, really talented high school kids who have NBA potential, just go to the NBA. Just go. I would, I would do what college baseball does. And they say in college baseball, and the MLB does this, and you can bet on it if you're the interpreter for Shohei Otani. That if you get drafted, you can go, 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 go to professional baseball. But if you don't, you have to be three years away from high school, a certain age, 21 or so. So it's either three years in college or at 21, you become eligible to be drafted. So do that for basketball. So you got to make your mind up. If you want to go, go. If you want to go, go. But if you do decide to stay in college, you can't be drafted until you're three years out of high school. Simple as that. It's the same thing NCAA baseball does. Just keep those rules for basketball. You're going to have um, better competition. You're going to know names better. And, you know, shot clock, put it down to 24 seconds. Extend the game to NBA two 12-minute, uh, four 12-minute quarters. And then you're just going to have a higher scoring pace, more up and down. It's going to be more fun. Pretty simple, actually. Oh, yeah, I forgot about DMAC's neighbor story arc, too. Oh, my God, Grass Valley Greg. Yeah, the neighbor. There's that. Uh, thoughts on Tad? Um, pretty good right now. Great. Great thoughts on Tad. What's not to like about Tad Boyle right now? He's got two wins in the tournament, the first four. And now a win over Florida. Uh, we'll see how they do against Marquette. I mean, my feelings about Tad Boyle are strong. Loads of good feelings about Tad Boyle. Got no beefs with him whatsoever. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on a group thread with Tyler and <laughs> uh, yeah, ha happy for uh, Tyler, who's uh, a proud Buffalo and, um, you got two tournament wins. Keep going. See you keep going. I'm sorry, CSU. I mean, that sucks. 11 points. That's going to stick with you for a little bit, don't you think? Head up avidcaddy.com for information about leagues, instruction, getting involved in the tournament that's leading up to a big watch party for the final game of the NCAA championship. And uh, check that out, avidcaddy.com. Call 303-376-3745. As long as the Nuggets aren't home Monday through Friday, I'll be here at Avid Caddy up until the championship game for Hangout Live and uh, making friends here left and right. And it's just a real chill place, real comfortable, fun to play, get better at golf, be in a great environment. That's what you got here at Avid Caddy. And, of course, special thanks for our guy, uh, Ed Prather, um, the real estate team you can trust, the most trusted real estate team in Colorado, who's selling my home, buying a home through them. It's a complicated process, and you need the right team. And that is Ed Prather at edprather.com. So this is my crew right now. I love my crew. My crew is great. So let's go through some final scores this afternoon. Oh, I'm getting, that's an interesting vibe. Text thing on. Da Silva is well-regarded. 
from CU by Pro Scouts. Okay, interesting. Keep your eyes on De Silva. Keep your eyes on De Silva. Um, first half, Nebraska's tied with Texas A&M at 22. <laughs> Vermont, the Catamounts. I'm not sure what a Catamount is. The Catamounts are leading Duke 10 to 9. God, Yale beats Auburn. Could Vermont beat Duke? That's ridiculous, right? Uh, Grambling going against Purdue. That gets going here in just a couple of minutes. Charleston against Alabama. Longwood against Houston. That's all still to come. Uh, 12-5, James Madison, Wisconsin. That's later tonight. TCU, Utah State later tonight. Grand Canyon against St. Mary's. That's another 12-5 later tonight. Uh, UConn thumped Stetson. They won by 39 points, 91-52. Marquette beats Western Kentucky, 87-69. And Baylor over Colgate, 92-67. Meanwhile, the upset of the, I think, the entire tournament right now, Yale over Auburn. Damn. 78-76, 78-76, Yale over Auburn. San Diego State beat UAB 69-65. And Clemson over New Mexico 77-56. In overtime, Northwestern beat Florida Atlantic 77-65. And the headline story here in Colorado, of course, is the Buffs over Florida 102 to 100. Wow. That is outstanding. So in that game, De Silva had 17 points, 7 of 10 from the field, 3 of 3 from 3, with 4 rebounds and 5 assists, 4 fouls, so didn't foul out, obviously. Uh, The leading scorer was K.J. Simpson, who's been a star for them all year. 8 of 9 from the line, clutch. Hadley, 9 of 11 from the line. Big guy Lampkin, 5 of 5, so great free throw shooting from the Buffs. Overall, the Buffs were 84.8%, 28 of 33 from the line. That's huge. Cody Williams, 5 of 7 from the line, 2 of 3 from the field for 9 points. Uh, Florida shot well from the line, 286.4. Florida shot 44% from 3. And the Buffs were just crazy from 3-point line. Not a ton of shots. But 6 of 10, so when they did take a shot, it it meant something. And shot 63% from the field? The Buffaloes were on fucking fire today. And they just eked it out. Yeah, I mean, Florida just put up more three-pointers. But, wow, what a great shooting night for the Buffs. Absolutely outstanding. Let me look at the team stats real quick, just see how this game broke down. Uh, field goal percentage goes to the buff 63 to 51, five, both great shooting teams, both great shooting teams. Three point shooting was great for both teams. They both made free throws. What a fantastic game. They had the equal amount of rebounds, 29 to 29, a little bit of an edge for Florida in that department, offensive rebounds, uh, assists were similar. Turnovers, both teams kind of high in turnovers. 12 for the Buffs. That probably made it close down the wire, just turning the ball over. Only eight for Florida. Only nine points off fast break points for um, eight fast break points for the Buffs, 14 for the Gators. So the Gators ran a little bit more, but both teams really shot well. The only reason this game got close in the end was because CU turned the ball over. That was it. They limit those turnovers similar to what Florida had. Maybe eight, four. So four less turnovers. This game's probably not all that close. And then Florida just hit a huge three. Just a freaking great game. Um, At one point, Florida had a 10-point lead. At one point, CU had a 13-point lead. So fun game, swings, back and forth, just everything. Great game, the end. So everything that was lousy about the CSU game was basically amazing in the CU game. Oh, fuck. Just realized we wear the same glasses. Hey, dude, these glasses are expensive. (laughs) 
There's no embarrassment there, friend. Uh, first time Buffs won more than one NCAA game since 1955. Wow. I did not know that. That's amazing. That's excellent. Uh, when is the NBA going to mandate that the Nuggets play games three versus five to make these games fair? There you go, Barry. Getting a little cocky there, Barry, aren't you? Barry's a little cocky. I like it, though. Yup, yeah, the glasses. The same glasses. They're expensive, dude. You should see the, the – I got some cheapies in case I break these or whatever, but – listen, if you wear glasses every single goddamn day of your life, which I do all the time, you don't go cheap on glasses. That would be stupid. All right. Outstanding day in terms of um, paying attention to everything we're doing here. I really appreciate it. And we're, we're so grateful for avid caddy to be a partner with what we're doing here with kill you with truth. Um, we're on the weekend, but we'll be covering the Avs game. I'll be out there later tonight. Going to leave here, get my butt down to Ball Arena for the Avalanche going against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we'll have coverage for you all night. And do 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 do. Um, we'll have Peta's painting podcast. My dad Sunday morning, which comes out. He's got a couple of great new paintings. Perhaps I can preview that for you. Can I do that? See if I can figure that out. Can I, can I, can I? Oh, no. I, oh, I can't. Hold on. I can figure it out. I'll, I'm going to have to do some, some, look at this. Ah. So on Peter's Painting Podcast, we're going to see um, that one, which is, I'll show you again. It's called Ground Zero, a little preview. And then this one, which is Ralph, Lur Ralph Laurent's Bugatti. So look for that Sunday morning. See, look at him learn how to do all this cool stuff. There you go. Uh, a couple more of your comments before we wrap things up. So thanks to Avid Caddy. What a great place. Uh, give him a holler, 303-376-3745, avidcaddy.com. Thanks to Ed Prather, who makes it all possible. Uh, hit the like button. Yeah, like liking and subscribing, it just helps. Everything that we do. And um, having sponsors and uh, getting people to, you know, hit up the sponsors and participate in this thing together is a big deal. Love you, man. We'll see you soon. All right. Great work. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. All right. So I'm going to wrap things up. And uh, thanks to everybody here at Avocati. Cool place. and. Um, and I'll be here next week on, well, let's see, the Nuggets play Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll be here Tuesday and Thursday next week. So if you want to make some plans, come by and say hi um, for free golf, 430 to 530. I'll be here, but you can, they're open till six. They're open all the time. Um, just reach out, give them a holler and set it up. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, uh, I'll come down next time you're there. I'm I'm here on Tuesday. Would love to see you. Bring friends. Bring friends. See it. They've got a limited amount of memberships open, and but it's open right now and it's open for free. Um, if you want to come down and hit some balls, talk to the owners. Um, great dudes. And thanks. Appreciate it. So let's go, Avs. The night's not over. We'll kill you with truth as we go through the night as the Avs take on the Blue Jackets. Thank you. Have a great night. We'll see you. Congratulations, to the Bucks.